Hi everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kitty and I upload Sims 4 videos just like this one every single Sunday at 10am. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 mods for playing with occult sims which I thought would be perfect because Halloween is slowly creeping up on us. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on so that you never miss another video from me. That being said, let me show you my 10 must have mods for occult gameplay in The Sims 4. Okay, so the first mod I want to talk about is the Modern Witch mod. This is actually quite a small mod, but it adds a lot of new interactions for the Modern Witch. And I think it also really works well alongside the Realm of Magic pack. So you can still have your spellcaster sims use the modern witch interactions. So first of all, I'm going to show you some of the new PC interactions that come with this mod. And then there is also a new lot trait and two new social interactions as well, which I will also show you. Okay, so we are at the PC with our spellcaster sim Arabella and we are going to have her go ahead and check out some of the new modern witch interactions. So the first thing we can do is browse Simazon for Halloween decor. So we'll have her do that first. And as you can see, she's just searching on the computer, thinking about Halloween decorations. The other interactions for the PC, you can actually now research Wicca and research, I believe that's Samhain, Samhain. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. But these three are the three PC interactions that come with this mod. And as I said at the beginning then, this mod also comes with a new lot trait, which is the Witch's Lair lot trait. And this basically just gives your sims a little midlet that says, The witch is in me. I feel so much creativity flowing through my witchy veins. So this lot trait is just added on to a spellcaster's home or any occult house. And then finally, the final interactions then are the two social interactions. So the first one is talk about crystal magic. So we'll have Arabella demonstrate the talking about crystal magic for you guys. It's just a pretty simple social interaction. And then in the main social interactions, there is also the option to threaten to hex, which I thought was also pretty cool. And I believe this does also have an effect on the relationship with your sims. So that is the Modern Witch mod. I think this one, although it is pretty small, it adds something new and fun to play around with, especially with the spellcasters. As always, the links for each mod mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description box down below. And let's move on to mod number two. Okay, so mod number two is the Magic School mod. And let me just start by saying that I absolutely love every single thing about this mod. This mod literally makes it possible to play out all of your vampire diaries, Sabrina dreams in The Sims 4, which is so exciting to me. There are quite a few new things that this mod adds to the game. It adds in a new school, new school levels and tasks. It also adds in various magical subjects as well as exams and an active skill which I will talk about a little bit later on. So here we have Arabella and we're going to get her to go ahead and apply for a position in the new skill. I do just want to say that you should have MCC installed so that you can allow your teen sims to quit the normal regular high skill career beforehand. And all that you need to do then is just simply go back into the business section of the phone and select find a job. Once the job menu comes up then you should be able to see magic school student and this is what it looks like on the menu. So whether you come from a magical or non-magical family we are pleased to inform you that you have your place in Bonhilda's magic school. The school was named after the legendary Bonhilda, who served many wizards and witches before she disappeared under mysterious circumstances and sims haven't seen or heard from her since. So we'll get Arabella to join the magic school career. So as you can see here, Arabella is now a beginner student at Bonhilda Magic School and the levels of the school grades actually work very, very differently with this mod in comparison to the original high school. So rather than being a grade A, grade B, grade C student, you start as a beginner student and then you're given these grade tasks. 
And once you complete all of these grade tasks, you then move up to the next level. You do also still, of course, have the daily task of the regular boring homework. There are lots of different subjects within this mod too, and it breaks down your sim school days into different classes. So there is like a potions class, a practical magic class, there's even astronomy classes too. Once you've reached level three of the magic school career, all of the available subjects will be unlocked. Just quickly to show you guys, when your sim joins the magic school, instead of the regular homework book, they actually get given this magic notebook. And one of the tasks to level up to the next grade is to write an essay. So if I click on the magical notebook in Arabella's inventory and choose write an essay, you can see that there are two options there already that aren't there on the normal homework. So an essay about potions that make sims lives better, or an essay about practical spells a spellcaster can't live without. Once you reach level four, all of the subjects that are specific to this mod will be unlocked and you can then study those as well. At level four of the magic school career, there is also an active exam event where you're taken to Glimmerbrook's magic realm and are given a list of goals to complete for the exam, just exactly like in-game gold events. And the good thing about this is that you don't have to get gold. It is perfectly acceptable and you will pass the exam if you get bronze on the event. So just keep that in mind. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this mod, there is actually an active skill day incorporated inside of this one. Unfortunately, it hasn't yet been updated to incorporate the active skill day with high school years. And to be honest, I can see why. I would assume it would be pretty difficult to do that. This mod, it does come with the option to work from home. And I have actually placed down a magic skill from the gallery so that I can send my spellcaster sim to study there. If you also own the get together pack, you can do some pretty creative things with the club function like creating your own coven or magic skill houses. Overall, I really love this mod and I find it really boring playing with teen spellcasters without it. If you're going to download just one mod from today's video, I would definitely recommend this one. As with all of today's mods, it will be linked down below in the description box. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this next mod is the Psychic Sims mod, and this just adds some new interactions relating to psychic powers and works really, really well with the paranormal stuff pack and the medium skill. To become psychic, you have to purchase the mysterious urn from the build by catalogue and mourn over the stranger. And once you've done this, your sim will then have psychic powers and will gain the psychic reward trait. And also a new psychic pie menu will appear. You can even beg the urn to take the psychic powers back if you don't want them. Or if you're like me, you can use UI Teach just to add the reward trait without having to purchase the urn. So I am going to show you guys with my sim Chester here, who is not psychic yet, but is about to be. So we're going to get him to go ahead and mourn the stranger in the urn. And this is what the animation looks like. It's just the basic mourning animation from the base game. Okay, and then as you can see, after Chester has finished mourning the stranger in the urn, you then get this pop up. It is very long, I am not going to read all of it, but it's just saying here that the sim that you've chosen to mourn the stranger with has now received psychic powers. So if I go ahead and check, there we go, my sim now has the psychic reward trait. This mod also adds in a new psychic skill which has five levels and I personally like playing with this skill alongside the medium skill from the paranormal stuff pack. To gain the psychic skill, you can either research on a computer or you can develop your skills by using your psychic powers. At each level of the psychic skill, new interactions and psychic benefits are unlocked. For example, my sim Chester is the psychic of this occult house and he is currently at level 2 of the psychic powers 
skill and as you can see from that little pop-up there on the top right hand side at level two chester can now dispel negative emotions of others steal positive emotions from others he can also bind ghosts to crystals soothe ghosts and most importantly he can now offer his psychic services for money which is absolutely amazing and actually works extremely well with the next mod that we're going to take a look at I do have to add though, when you go to provide your psychic services to another sim, it is a rabbit hole and it lasts around two in-game hours. Psychic sims can also give or remove psychic powers from other sims, speak to spirits and a whole bunch of other really interesting and in-depth pie menu options. What I'm going to show you next is my psychic sim Chester communing with spirits and using some of the psychic interactions with some of the other sims that are in this household. Okay, so as I said then, we are going to have Chester use his psychic powers to speak to spirits. And this is what the animation looks like, which again is really, really nice. So the final part of this mod that I want to show you is the new pie menu interactions. But we're going to go ahead and have Chester speak to Marina and we're going to use the psychic power menu. So this is what the new pie menu looks like and there are already a few options here. But like I said previously, the higher you get your psychic our skill to the more options will open up here so we're going to get chester to go ahead and dispel marina's negative emotions and that is what that animation looks like i don't think marina is very happy about trying to have her negative emotions dispelled this mod also works amazingly with ghosts in the game and it's just perfect overall for occult style gameplay it just adds something that the paranormal stuff pack was missing but together they create a pretty unique gameplay experience so let's move on to mod number four so mod number four is the tarot reader career by purple thistles this is another tiny mod it's a rabbit hole career but i find that it just adds something different when it comes to playing with the occult and supernatural sims so we are gonna go ahead and have chester our psychic sim apply to be a tarot reader so the first thing you want to do is just go to the find a job menu as normal and as you can see then from the career menu, this is what the tarot reader career looks like. So it says, learn the mystery of the tarot cards from what the cards are, how to lay them out and form a reading. Tarot reading is a lifelong skill. There is always something new to learn. You must have a tough skin. Skeptics can make life difficult. So this, as I mentioned at the start, it is a rabbit hole career and it has 10 different levels and there's only one track. It seems to be a pretty well paid career and it is only a Monday to Friday job. So that is pretty handy if you're doing some family gameplay and you want to have the weekends free. So we'll get Chester to go ahead and accept the job. And this career mainly focuses on the charisma and the writing skills. And that is pretty much it for this mod. As I mentioned, it is a very, very small mod, but it's a really good career to add to your game, especially if you're going to be using the Psychic Sims mod that we just talked about, or even if you're just playing with the Paranormal Stuff Pack and don't want to become a freelance paranormal investigator again. And as I said with the previous mod, if you have Psychic Sims installed, you can also kind of look at offering your psychic services for money as part of this career even though they are two completely different mods by two completely different creators they work super well together i really enjoyed using this career alongside the medium skill and the psychic sims mod we talked about so if you think this is something you'd also enjoy playing around with there will be a link in the description box down below okay mod number five and a little bit of a change of scenery for this one we are on the island of sulani with my sim marina and we're going to be looking at the expanded mermaids mod this mod adds a lot and i mean a lot of completely new interactions and activities for mermaid sims so there are a whole bunch of new ocean interactions which we're going to take a look at now so here we are then with our sim Marina and we are going to have her go into her mermaid form in the ocean just so that we can have a look at some of those new ocean interactions. 
So the new interactions then are dive for kelp, fetch fish, sleep below the surface. And I believe the higher your fitness skill gets, the more of these interactions open up. So we're going to have a look at sleep below the surface and see what that looks like. Okay, so that is what the animation looks like. Your mermaid sims will just completely disappear below the surface of the water to fall asleep. Okay, so I have just cheated Marina's fitness skill up a few levels so that we can test out that dive deeper interaction. And I believe that when using this dive deeper interaction, there is actually a chance to find more exotic fish as well as some mysterious items. There are so many amazing features in this, I couldn't possibly list through all of them, but I will tell you a little bit more about some of the other species, let's say, that come with the mod. So one of the different species that come with the Expanded Mermaids mod is Kelpies. And Kelpies are basically sea monsters that can shapeshift and they live among humans but only turn into Kelpies at night. Again, I'm not going to go too in depth into that feature as I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who want to try it out for yourself. There is also the addition of sea witches. When your mermaid sims are exploring the deep seas, they may encounter a very special item that can unlock the sea sorcery skill. And this allows your mermaids to cast a variety of different water related spells. Again, I don't want to show you guys too much because although I like showing you the mods I use in my game, I don't really want to spoil it for anyone else. There's also a few additional features that come with this mod which are really incredible and have improved the whole mermaid occult overall. Personally, I will probably never play with mermaids again without this mod. It's a pretty huge overhaul, but it really is a worthy addition to my mods folder. Highly recommend this one, but let's move on to the next one. Mod number six is the Daylight Ring mod. This mod is just another tiny one that adds something a little different to your vampire sims. So the first thing you want to do is purchase this coffin jewelry box from the Build Buy catalog. So what you're gonna want to do is have your vampire sim click on the coffin jewelry box and select put on daylight ring. And once your sim has put that on, the jewelry box will go into your sim's inventory where you can then take it off or place it in the world. And you also then receive this little moodlet that says protected from wearing a daylight ring. This daylight ring contains a lapis lazuli gemstone, which is rumored to be enchanted by witches. It is meant to protect vampires from the sunlight for as long as they have it on. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, that sounds like a little bit of a storyline from... The Vampire Diaries, which I am here for, and I will always, always, always keep this mod in my mods folder. I don't usually play with Vampire Sims, at least not very much, but this mod definitely makes it a lot more appealing and just adds in that little benefit for your Vampire Sims without having to worry about them burning to death every time they step outside. Once again, this mod will be linked in the description box down below, so definitely go and check this one out. Let's move on to the next one. So what mod number seven is the Vampires Can Kill mod by Zero. Just like Expanded Mermaids, this mod completely overhauls vampires in the game and adds a ton of new interactions and vampire activities. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn our target into a willing victim. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll just watch the new animation that comes along with that. And now we should have a whole heap of different interactions. The first one that I just want to let you know is that, that you can now ask for permission to drink, which I thought was pretty interesting. As for the overhaul of all of the regular vampire interactions now, your sims can deep drink, which has the chance to kill the sim that you're drinking from. Small drinking keeps the sim you're drinking from safe and drink uncontrollably. When that is unlocked, you can already imagine what that does. 
And um, as mentioned previously, then you can also ask permission to drink from other Sims too. There's quite a few more features. I'm not going to cover all of them in today's video because it's already really long. But if you want to have a more in-depth look at this mod, you can check it out over on Zero's Patreon. I will leave that link down below. And let's move on to mod number eight. Okay, so mod number eight is again, another small mod that just adds a little bit extra to your occult gameplay. And that is the hybrid occult unlocker. What this mod does is basically allows two different occult species to be assigned to one sim. So what I've done, I have had our spellcaster sim, Arabella, along with our vampire sim have a child together and their child has aged up into a teen and as you can see they have vampire energy and they are a spellcaster so they're both a vampire and a spellcaster at the same time. This mod is great especially if you like occult gameplay and it's something that you play with on a regular basis definitely just adds a little bit extra, a little bit more gameplay into your occult saves. And as always, this one will also be linked in the description box down below. And let's move on to mod number nine. So mod number nine is the Occult Bloodlines mod. There are multiple versions of this mod depending on which occult sims you want to use it for or which packs you have installed in your game. And they basically work similar to the Spellcaster Bloodlines that come with the Realm of Magic pack. So there's bloodlines for vampires, mermaids, werewolves, aliens, skeletons and plant sims. Each bloodline starts off weak and then as you move on to the next generation it becomes stronger and you have weak bloodlines, strong bloodlines and ancient bloodlines. Each strength bloodline for each occult comes with different perks as well. So I'm going to show you an example of my spellcaster vampire hybrid sim that we created with our vampire Damien and our spellcaster. And as you can see then this sim has a weak vampire bloodline so the reward trait says this sim is the child of a first generation vampire they should gain experience and regain dark power faster than those without vampire heritage and their thirst should grow a bit slower than normal so their vampire xp is gained 10 times faster vampire energy increases 10 times faster thirst decays 10 times slower and vampire energy also decays 10% slower as well. For each cult, there are different skills and benefits that are affected. And as your family grows and the bloodline becomes stronger, so do the perks. This mod is a super important one in my mods folder personally, as I mainly focus on legacy style gameplay. So adding bloodlines to my occult families definitely makes that a lot more enjoyable. And that is it for the occult bloodlines mod. Let's move on to our last and final mod for today's video, mod number 10. So the final mod in today's video is the Happy Haunts Graveyard mod. This mod adds in loads of new features relating to death and grief and also adds in some new NPCs and interactions as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new graveyard lot type that comes with this mod. This venue type is pretty unique as it actually changes the atmosphere in the graveyard at night time. During the day the graveyard is a nice calm place to remember all of the sims that you've lost. But as you can see we have my sim Damien at the graveyard lot now and at night time it is a totally different story. So as you can see you may get this little pop-up that says the lights have gone out, something's wrong here, has anyone got a candle? And that's when you'll start to see all of these different occults around the graveyard that your sim can interact with. So as I mentioned at the start of this mod there are also some new NPCs that are included and they are the graveyard keeper, the ghosts and the graveyard visitors. The graveyard keeper though is a special sim and you can purchase flowers, urns and candles from him if you place those items on the lot so that he can create them. There's also a whole heap of new moodlets that your sims will get when they're visiting the graveyard. They depend on your sims traits, their occult status, 
and also specifically what time of day your sims decide to visit the graveyard at. Ghosts, spellcasters and vampires all have unique midlets to their own occult and there are so so many of them I couldn't possibly cover all of them today but definitely definitely download this mod and visit the graveyard if you want to check them all out for yourself. You can also purchase and customize custom urns and tombstones where you place your sims remains inside and they work exactly like the in-game urns and tombstones that come with base game. They kind of work like a storage chest and there are also of course a whole load of new interactions to use with the tombstones or urns when you place them on the graveyard lot. You can gain different midlets from using all of the different interactions and some of those include asking your deceased loved ones for advice, drinking to their memory, placing gifts on their tombstones and so many more. And finally there are also a whole heap of small additional modules that you can add into the mod depending on what packs you have installed. So there is a chance to encounter skeletons if you have the jungle adventure pack. Witches will go to the graveyard at night time if you have the realm of magic pack and of course it also works with the paranormal stuff pack as well. There is also a grieving module uh, which comes with the seasons pack. I would highly recommend installing that additional module as it just gives a bit more of a realistic gameplay experience. So yeah, that is it for mod number 10. So that is it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed this mod video, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below letting me know if you try out any of the mods for yourself. If you made it this far, drop a crystal ball emoji in the comments and I will see you next Sunday at 10am.